Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Let's go ahead and get right into this video. So you clicked on this video because you're wondering if it's still worth taking the Google IT certification in 2020 as we step into 2021. And in this video, I'm pretty much going to walk you guys through the pros and the cons that I have for this certification and what I think about it. And then afterwards, I'll let you guys know if I really think it's still worth taking and if you guys should consider taking it right now. So with that being said, if you're new to the channel, by the way, my name is Ben. Welcome to the channel. On this channel, I make videos about making money online, my life and my career, and my car. So if you're interested in any of those, please consider subscribing. We're on our way to 10,000 subscribers, which is absolutely crazy. So let's go ahead and hop right into the cons of the Google IT certifications. I have my notes right here, ready to go. Let's go ahead and get right into the video. All right guys, so the first con that I have for the Google IT certification is the fact that this certification is relatively new. The certification was released in early 2018, so it's only about two years old. The fact that it's relatively new doesn't really help out the certification because the IT companies nowadays, they're looking for certifications that are well known within the industry and that have been out for years and years now. Kind of like the CompTIA A+, and the CompTIA certifications. Um, all of those are pretty much um, well-known certifications within the industry that have been established for years now. And on the other hand, the Google IT certification is relatively new, and the IT companies don't really know about it. But over time, I think the Google IT certification is gonna start becoming more and more popular and ubiquitous within the industry and it will slowly make a name for itself so it's kind of an investment right now um, you guys will be probably one of the first ones to take the course and that's the first con that I have for this Google IT certification is the fact that it's relatively new and doesn't really have an established name for itself within the industry yet the second con that I have for this Google IT certification is that it's relatively easy to complete and I say this because after you've completed all of the modules and all of the quizzes within the certification itself, at the end, there is no final exam or final test that you need to pass in order to get the certification. So all you have to do is pretty much complete all of the things that they hand to you, and then you get the certification itself. So the barrier of, of entry to get the Google IT certification is not very high. So the fact that it is really easy to complete um, does affect the value and the credibility of the course itself. And when employers look at this course compared to CompTIA courses and Cisco courses and Amazon Web Service, stuff like that, they compare these courses with the Google IT certification. And when they see that the Google IT certification is relatively easy to complete, they're definitely gonna value um, the ones that are more difficult to complete rather than the Google IT certification because it shows that you've been studying more, um, you had to work harder for it and everything like that. So it kind of affects the value and the credibility of the course itself, the certification itself. But um, that is pretty much my second con that I have for the Google IT certification. And that's pretty much all I have for the cons itself. Let's go ahead and talk about the pros real quick about the Google IT certification. So the first pro that I have for the Google IT certification is the fact that it is beginner friendly. If you have no background in IT and you have no idea what's going on, the Google IT certification is a perfect place to start. I know people like me where this is my first certification and they use the Google IT certification to kind of get their foundation down, to learn the basics of IT, and then use that knowledge to gain other more complicated, more difficult certifications like the CompTIA A+, and all those other ones as well, and kind of snowball into more difficult certifications. So the Google IT certification is a great place to start, and I definitely recommend it for people who are brand new to IT and are looking to start learning. The second pro that I have for this course is the flexibility of the payment plan. So how the payment plan works is pretty much you pay $50 a month, and you pretty much only pay for the time that you take to complete the entire course. So let's say you wanted to go ahead and grind out the entire course and finish the whole thing within the first month. You'd only be paying $50 for the entire course, which is a really good deal in my opinion. 
So the fact that the payment plan is set up based on how much uh, time you take to complete the entire course, how many months it takes you to complete the entire course, uh, I, I believe this flexibility is really, really good, especially for people who are busy, who have different um, you know, jobs going on right now, different full-time jobs, and kind of want to base their learning around their current schedule. And I think the flexibility of this payment plan is really, really good for those kind of people. The third pro that I have for this certification is the fact that the Google IT certification aligns really well with the CompTIA A+. I'm going to go ahead and leave a little screenshot of an article that was featured on CompTIA's website about how the Google IT certification aligns very well to the CompTIA A+ certification. So the way I like to think about this, what this article pretty much shows me is the fact that the Google IT certification is pretty much like the appetizer to the A+. So if you're brand new to IT and you don't want to jump into the A+, um, because I know it can be overwhelming because there's a lot of stuff you need to study. If you kind of want to get uh, slowly inch your way towards the A+, I think the Google IT certification is a great place to start. And if you do take the Google IT certification and you take the A+, afterwards, I do believe you get a special little badge or certification that you can put on your resume and your LinkedIn that combines both of the two certifications. And also, that leads me into my fourth pro, which is pretty much when you finish the Google IT certification, you can put Google, uh, the Google IT certification on your resume, which definitely looks good on your resume. Having Google there on your LinkedIn and on your resume definitely makes your resume more desirable, more attractive. And that is pretty much all the pros and cons that I have for the Google IT certification. And I think this might be my last video for the Google IT certification because I've made a ton already. So if you guys enjoyed the video, if it was you know informative and entertaining, please go ahead and drop me a like for the YouTube algorithm. And also go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm gonna be making more IT videos and my career videos and making money online videos. So you guys definitely don't wanna miss out on those. So go ahead and hit subscribe and join the family. But with that being said, guys, that is all I have for you guys in this video today. Thank you for watching. I'll go ahead and catch you guys in the next banger video. Peace.